first of all, we want to uh, raise awareness about this condition. As you know, this is a neurodegenerative condition that is diagnosed uh, during the uh, early years of the uh, working, um, the professional career of a person. So the objective is to uh, put an end to prejudice and to inform people about this condition. This neurodegenerative condition uh, causes um, um, disability. This is the second uh, cause of disability among young people after car accidents. So what we really want to do is to improve visibility and to um, raise awareness. Employment, this is not a competence of the European Union, but Europe has a lot to say in regard to the policies to fight against discrimination. So we really need to work uh, so that uh, the Convention of the United Nations for People with Disabilities is endorsed and is uh, enforced, that uh, uh, certain adaptations are introduced um, in the working field so uh, that people that suffer from this uh, condition, they can remain at work. Uh, because sometimes there are uh, mobility issues, accessibility issues, and uh, the objective is to uh, make a safe environment um, for these people. When these people are diagnosed with the condition, uh, they usually are out of work, and there's a lack of adaptation um, with regard to work time arrangements and other um, accessibility measures in the workplace. Discrimination is a very important issue because these poor people are at a disadvantage uh, to access employment. And there's when discrimination comes in because there's a lack of information and a lack of active policies uh, to ensure that these people uh, remain at work and that they are not discriminated against. As you know, we uh, work on a lifelong learning, we have a lifelong learning program the European Union. I'm a Vice President of the Intergroup on Disabilities at the European Parliament, and I belong to the Commission of uh, Request Commission and the uh, Legal Commission. And uh, we are working on the implementation of the UN Convention for people with disability. We are following up how the member states are enforcing this convention, and we are working on a report. The key word is accessibility. Accessibility everywhere, in employment field, in the work environment, health care, transportation systems, uh, accessibility to housing. So we are fighting so that the Commission approves an accessibility, European Accessibility Act. Um, that was foreseen for a couple of years ago, but they're still working on that. So the key word in general terms is accessibility. So for instance, introducing breaks um, at work, adapting um, the premises at work, so people with MS can uh, remain seated and uh, that they have everything at hand. Um, flexible work time arrangements and the possibility to have a reduced working scheme. Then healthcare, it's also very important access to healthcare and to uh, an adequate treatment.